friends in this section of video we are going to discuss design methodologies which is a part of system designing how system uh, procedures are used to design a system so let's discuss uh, the techniques first we discuss perspective of design methodologies our first perspective of design methodology is to improve productivity of system analyst and software programmers second is improve documentation of system third is to reduction cost and improve communication among the users and analyst designer and the programmers and simplify the design by segmentation or breakup of various component so we discuss one by one first is improve productivity of analyst and programmers how the productivity of system analysts and software programmers are to be improved or how they can utilize or manage their time to improve their productivity second is design methodology uh, methodology is used to improve the documentation part so as every step documentation is required so it improves the documentation how the work is flowing then it reduces the cost as if we are saving our time in any manner uh, whatever it may be the time of system analyst time of programmers or uh, the time of users analyst and designers or we are uh, simplifying the process then we can say that we are reducing our cost of system development then we can improve communication between users analyst designers and programmers with the help of various design methodologies if they are they are comfortable in between communication to each other then they, they improvise the uh, improvise their uh, enhanced uh, knowledge so next is simplify the design by segmentation it means that a system is made up of many small components or small modules so these modules are provided to different programmers and segmentation makes it possible to do some parallel task as early as possible it improve the efficiency of building a software or a system in a complete manner first design methodology used is structured design the purpose of structured design is to manage data flow this design partition a program into smaller pieces these pieces are independent modules they are arranged in a hierarchical top down approach in which the complexity and complexity is reduced and makes a program manageable by subdividing into smaller segments so it has one more advantage that these sub modules or these modules can be easily programmed parallelly so parallel mechanism is approached by many of the programmer are working on a single system on different modules so their work is entirely different this approach is called modularization or decomposition decomposition means we are dividing a single problem into sub problems or a single system into multiple modules so design is said to be top down if it consists of a hierarchy of modules with each module having a single entry and exit sub routine it means each module has its one one start and one end point and in between this module is working the primary advantage of uh, this uh, particular type of modules are first is critical interfaces are to be tested earlier means uh, at the time of building those uh, modules we can uh, test the critical interfaces second is early versions of the design though incomplete are useful enough to resemble the real system 
what it doesn't matter the system is complete or not the design shows the actual resemblance of real system third is structuring the design provide control and improves morale so this kind of structuring provides actual control of data how this process part of the process is to be followed and these modules are working separately the procedure characteristic define the order that determines processing so our overall focus in structured design is data flow so we are focusing uh, in between input and output how this input is uh, processed and how the output is to be generated so we are focusing in between input and output this is the data flow part structured chart is used as a documentation tool for structured design so this is a graphical tool to represent all the three elements so three elements are modules connection and coupling we discuss about module the module is represented by a correct rectangle with a with a name so it is like an entity it is a contiguous set of statements second is connection the connection is represented by a vector linking two modules it means one module has called another module third is coupling coupling is the the couple is represented by an arrow with a circular tail it represented <laughs> data items moved from one module to another module so we are showing the diagram where of structured chart we are showing this in this diagram we have a gen payroll management so how this payroll is divided into various separate modules and some of the modules subpart are used to uh, exchange the information this these uh, modules are coupled or these sub modules are coupled uh, actually this is a complete system and get payroll record calculate net pay and print check these are modules we are dividing this complete system into modules and get pay record is further divided into two part read pay payroll record and validate payroll record so these two activities are coupled so when we are reading a payroll record then we have to validate payroll records also so <coughs> these tailed arrows are showing data exchange in between these modules so these modules are coupled and connection line is showing by a vector linking so like at generate payroll we have a vector linking which is uh, which is binding between all these modules together hope it is uh, very clear to understand form driven methodology hippo is a form driven technique here stand standard documents are used to document the information it consists of a hierarchy chart and an associated set of input process and output chart hippo uses a top down decomposition technique with the help of decomposition it solves the complex problem by decomposing into smaller subproblems it describe the data input and output from processes and define the data flow composition the objective of hippo is provide a structure by which the function of a system can be understood so easy functioning is provided by hippo state the functions to be performed by the program rather than specifying the program statements to be used to perform the functions so focus is on functions is to be performed rather than program provide a visual description of input to be used and output to be produced for each level of the diagram so it provide a graphical visual uh, expressions and description of input and output as well as process so here we taking an example of hippo uh, we have an example of online sales and we are decomposing this online sales problem into four different 
sub problems or we can say that four different modules which can be used to take input and to process the whole system and to deliver the outcome so these four uh, possible uh, breakouts are uh, authentication inventory check payment process and dispatch item so once the user want to uh, use anything uh, or to purchase anything from online then first he or she has to register uh, and to be authenticated so authentication process is the first step after checking the authentication uh, inventory is checked that whether the item is available or missing if item is available it is detected from the inventory like previously it was 35 and if one item is purchased then now inventory has 34 items in stock and once the uh, cart is successful then payment is proceed if pay payment successful payment is to be processed then item is dispatched once the item is dispatched then uh, invoice is generated uh, on the basis of the item dispatched so this is a simple process we want to if we want to add any module like uh, to replacement or uh, uh, like if replacement or return of a product then how the return of a product is to be executed is a separate module and which is uh, after the sale uh, department is to be handled to make a hippo diagram first we have to understand what is the procedure to construct a hippo chart or diagram so it is very easy to draw symbols in hippo diagram uh, we have a step by step process like beginning at the highest level of abstraction that is also known as root so root is the abstraction's highest level of abstraction thereafter identify the processing step that convert the input to the output it means main modules are identified after that document each element using the hippo diagram notation and a tree like structure in the previous diagram we were saying that a tree like structure was there uh, online sales and this sale was uh, divided into uh, components identify sub processes and their import and output continue decomposition until the processes cannot be decomposed further i repeat again continue decomposition until the processes cannot be decomposed further it means we have to decompose the complex program until the further decompositions are not possible so this is the aim of the uh, of building a hippo chart to make a easy solution of a complex problem so there are several ways uh, of making a hippo diagram we are defining here two different hippo diagram one is hippo worksheet and second is hippo template these two are used to make hippo diagram Hippo, an overview. Overview diagram describes the major functions and reference the major details diagram needed to expand the functions adequately. They provide the following the input section that contains the data item used by the processing step, the output section that contains the data item created by the process step, and the process section that contains number step that describe the function to be performed and arrows connect then to the output step and input and output data items. The extended description refers to a non-hippo documentation and code. Detail diagram contain an extended description section that amplifies the process step and references the code associated with each process step. It means that he, hippo, making a hippo is very easy that we have to understand the inputs, the process flow and the output. If we have a complex problem, then we, our first task is to divide this complex problem into various smaller sub problems or components. And then we have to decompose till further the decomposition is not possible. After that, we have to arrange the inputs and outputs of each module and we have to make 
a make a complete tree like structure so this is all about hippo thank you friends so uh, this is a part of uh, for form driven uh, methodologies which comes under uh, design methodologies so these are the design methodology uh, methodologies which are used to uh, for system structuring and various input and output handling methods